Talking about the big night that Julius Randle had with his 30-point game, how he doesn't have to work so hard to get his points. The first one will show you his ability to shoot from the outside. Yeah, this was a nice play, and it's also Dennis Smith Jr. really bringing a, a new dimension to this Knicks team with his ability to get dribble penetration. I think he's starting to work himself into a nice role right now. The screen gets all the way into the lane. Now freeze it right there. Now Dennis draws a ton of defense. Three defenders right here. Julius Randers locked and loaded. He's ready to go in that corner. Dennis Smith Jr. sees him over there, and Randall, quick release. Tall, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, has a high relief, so he gets this three-point shot up pretty quickly. Defenders in a, in a little bit of a no-man's land spot here. And here comes Dennis Smith Jr. makes a good pass out to Julius Randle for that three. And notice the no hesitation. I mean, when Julius Randle at the beginning of the season, he wouldn't have taken that shot. He was, he we would have driven the ball into the lane when the defense was all set. You got to take what the defense gives you, no hesitation. Take the shot when it's there. And he's starting to really find his jump shot in a good rhythm. Randall, three of five from downtown in this game. He also had four assists. And we know that he is a willing passer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes early in the season, he's been forcing some stuff. But in this game, he recognizes while he has a chance for a one on one, he has a better chance at an op open opportunity for his a teammate. Yeah, and being a number one option, you have to be willing to draw double teams and make your teammates better. Here he gets the ball low on the post. The double team comes. Now freeze it there. There's two guys coming over to Randall, and he's baiting the double team, waiting for it. Good kick over pass to R.J. Barrett, who could take the shot if, if, if he wanted, but he didn't feel the shot. So he does a good job of, of, of now moving the ball. Go ahead and run it. Here's the kick over to uh, R.J. Barrett. You see, he's open. He gives but the pointing defense it out closes. Too. Now freeze it there. Defense closes again, but in this case, when you get a ball off a swing swing and you got a guy running at you, this is a green light to get aggressive and take the shot. You know the shot clock's running down. There's a reason why Randall drew a double team, because they want someone else to beat you. So this is where Frank Nielakina has to get aggressive, and he does. He does a great job of moving the defender, makes a nice move, and look at the shot he ends up with. A wide open 15-16 footer. You don't always have to take the three-point shot. There are some guys you have you want to take threes if you're over a 40% three-point shooter because that's your game. But if you're not a really consistent three-point shooter, there's nothing wrong with taking the ball in a little bit where you turn a shot that you make 33% of the time to a shot you make 65% of the time. And I think for a guy like Frank and even, even R.J. Barrett, they're a little bit better when they get a little closer in the mid-range area. Nothing wrong with taking that shot instead of settling for threes. And something very subtle in that play is Taj Gibson in the yeah. middle. As we were talking about his Screen. impact him pointing to Randall to the corner mm -hmm. and then right that little just screen just getting yep. in the way to allow Frank to get that open look right there from 15 feet hockey assist yes. for Julius Randall on that play